Okay, hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick demonstration on how to assemble the frame for the new TBS Source 1 V4. There are a lot of instructional videos out there about how to assemble the earlier frames, but I couldn't find anything for this one. Uh, so I basically figured it out on my own and uh, put it together and I've taken it apart so I can show you guys and hopefully help other people out there who struggled like I did. So you've got your forearms, you've got your base plate, you've got your top plate, these are your camera plates. Uh, this is the little bottom bottom plate that goes in between this one and the arms and then you've got your standoffs uh, i've also got a little packet of uh, standoff screws uh, they didn't come with the, with the with the kit but uh, we can use them later in the build if we want to so as i said here's your bottom plate uh, this bit with the silver that's going to be the going to be inside so that's where your stack is going to go uh, and the screws will come from the bottom up. So what you want to do is you start here and notice there's these two screws here. You want to make sure they correspond to the two screws here. Don't make the mistake that I did the first time. So you're going to take your arms and you see there's a, they're shaped. They're all, they're all the same. Uh, so just make sure you flip them the right way that, that you need. And basically it's going to, go around that little hole in the middle there. So start with one, take that, get one of your longer screws. Just quickly, if you're building a 30 by 30 stack, you're gonna to wanna to go through these ones here. If you're building with the long screws, sorry, if you're building a 30 by 30 stack, you wanna go with the long screws through here. If you're building a 20 by 20 stack, you're gonna go through here. So what you're gonna do is put that on there and then throw that base plate on there as well. Get one of your long screws, if it's easier, go, th go through each bit individually. You might find that easier. Just make sure that that is lined up the right way. So then you wanna go through the bottom there, and then you've got your, you've got the right hole there, and then just, don't tighten it all the way but tighten it enough that it, that it will hold it semi in place. And you see you've got uh, a bit of length coming through there, which you will use for your stack later on. So there's still a bit of give. Uh, so just keep going, grab your next one. You're gonna go this way, which will be, you wanna make sure, yeah, like I said, they'll all end up being straight like that. So you can still get another screw in there. So go through there. There we go. It's a bit fiddly, like I said, but you'll get there. You see the general idea. And then if you look, I don't know if you can see that, but if you look through these, if you look through all six of these, you'll be able to see straight through to the other side. And then you know you've done it right. And believe me, they won't go in if you've got them around the wrong way. It just won't happen for you. So if, you, if you've got them all in, you've done it. So there we go, all in. And as you can see, those screws poke up. So they'll be your stack screws. Uh, there are enough screws to put some through here, but there's not enough length on them to, uh, to really do anything with them. Like even if they... Even if you screw these in, I mean, they've got a bit of tightness to them, so they'll hold a little bit and they'll go through all three pieces. But once it gets to the other side, there's, um, they don't, I mean, they're just there. So, I mean, I, I'm not going to bother, to be honest. For now, maybe I'll, maybe after a crash or, or two, um, I'll decide that it was worthwhile. So anyway, uh, once your arms are in, grab, all you should have left are uh, little screws. So get two of them and you just want to go through and they'll be, like I said, they'll be a little bit tight. It's not a lot of give, but just get two of your little screws. And just put them through the middle. They'll take a bit of pressure to do, but they'll, they'll go.
there we go. So that's that's the main part of your frame that you, you know. So we've done that. Like I said before, uh, go through these ones if you're these smaller ones, these uh, twenty by twenties. If you have a twenty by twenty stack, and then you would want to put some of these short screws through into these uh, threaded holes to hold it in place. But because I'm doing a thirty by thirty stack, they're all going to hold it in place anyway. So the rest of the build is fairly straightforward. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes for your standoffs. So just screw through and your standoffs go in. Like I said before, this video is just to show you how to build the frame. Uh, obviously you wouldn't do all of this in this order if you were if you were actually doing your build because you want to be able to get in there and work around with your electronics and whatnot but once you know how to build the frame the rest of it kind of is like a normal build so there you go you've got all your standoffs in if you can see that there and then all you've got left are your camera plates and your top plate so your camera plates have a weird little setup, but these two short ones here uh, are what I'm using for my camera. And so you want these to be top and at the front. So, you, so this is the front, as you can see, because it's got the little slots for the camera plate. So they go in there. So yeah, you should want these, these to be at the top and the front. So just stick that in there. Same again with this one, top, front. And they will go all the way through and they'll be flush with the, with the bottom of the frame. So you'll know that they're in right. And then all that's left is uh, the top plate. And same again, little slots for the camera plates. Excuse the plane going overhead. That'll clip on there. And then just same again with your screws. And that's your last one. And lo and behold, there's your TBS Source 1 V4 frame. It's uh, fairly straightforward once you know what you're doing. The main thing is just those legs at the bottom, trying to, or those arms, sorry, just figuring out how how they sit in there. But like I said, once you figure it out, it all works. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you're now ready to take it all apart again and uh, actually build your quad. But hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you like. I'll um, I'll be doing a full build guide for this frame. Uh, it'll be my first build, so come and watch me struggle. It'll be great. It'll be great fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy.